MCU theory Loki's mother is Thor's sister Hela. Loki's mother has never been revealed in the Marvel Cinematic Universe, but it's possible that his character is actually Hela, Kate Blanchett, Thor's biological sister. The first Thor movie revealed that Odin secretly adopted Loki and that Loki's real father is actually the frost giant leader, Lofe. His mother, on the other hand, was never shown or mentioned. Thor Ragnarok revealed that Odin's family has even more secrets with the MCU debut of Hela, who served as the movie's main antagonist. It was said that Hela was Odin's first child and a person who helped him oppose their enemies. Hela, who Odin may have intended to become his successor, eventually become a foe of Asgard and tried to take the throne for him herself. Following Hela's defeat and imprisonment, Odin did his best to purge her from Asgardian history and also prevented his sons, Thor and Loki, from learning the truth about her existence. In the movie, Hela emerged as a threat and managed to challenge Thor in ways that previous villains never could. In the end, the immensely powerful sorceress was killed by Surtur, but the cost of her death was the destruction of Asgard. Though Hela is dead, her battle with Thor has had tremendous consequences for the MCU, which are still be represented, considering that Asgard has to be rebuilt on Earth and Thor no longer has Mjolnir. It could be that Marvel will reveal in upcoming MCU installments that Hela had an even greater impact on the world and its characters than fan realizes her why Hela, the goddess of death, could be the mother of Loki. Loki's mother in Marvel Comics Loki's comic book origin story was established all the way back in Journey into Mystery Hashtag 112 in 1965, a story about Odin's past but him in conflict with the giant of Jotunheim. During the battle between the Asgardians and the giant Odin killed their leader Lofe in a duel. Afterward, Odin was surprised to discover that Lofe had a child named Loki hidden away in their fortress. He was the size of normal human or Asgardian boy and was considered a runt by frost giant standards, though he was warned by one of his men that Loki could become evil. Odin took pity on the boy and decided that since he was a regal prince, son of a kingly father, that he should not be abandoned. For this reason, Odin decided to raise him, a Thor's half-brother. Later, Komi expanded on this story. It was said that Loki's mother was the queen of the frost giants, Fabache, a character who debuted after the first horror film. When she gave birth to such a small child, he was considered a disgrace to their entire species. She supposedly killed herself after Loki's birth, possibly due to shame, but Loki has speculated that she was actually murdered by Lofe out of anger. Loki doesn't seem to be a full blood frost giant. In the MCU version of the story, Loki is blue like all the other frost giants when he is found by Odin, but when Odin picks him up, his skin curiously becomes white. Many fans have chalked this up as an illusion created by Odin's power to conceal Loki's true appearance, as Loki's blue skin does reveal itself in a few scenes. Loki's skin changing color could simply be Odin's doing or the situation may be more complicated. It's at least least possible that Loki is not full-blooded frost giant. If that were the case, that would mean the Loki's size is more than just a genetic rarity. Loki's mother may be of a different rare entirety. Also, Queen Fabuti was left out of Loki's MCU origin story, so it does seem plausible that his mother may not be the same character featured in the comics. Loki has a lot in common with Hela. Hela and Loki do share some physical similarities, such as their pale skin and black hair. But what they have in common goes a bit deeper than that. The Thor movies have shown that as villains both have a flair for the dramatic and are capable of weaving powerful spells. In fact, Hela and Loki are among the greatest magic users in the MCU. But how did Loki get these magical powers? A deleted scene from Thor The Dark World confirmed that it was Frigga, Renner Russo, who trained him. But it may have taken more than just Frigga's training to make him so good at sorcery. After all, Frigga is never shown to be as adept at casting magic spells as Loki. Instead, Loki may have inherited his 
prowess in the magical arts but the mcu frost giants don't seem to have magical capabilities hela being his mother however would certainly make sense of his powers considering all the destruction she caused in thor ragnarok her understanding of magic in the mcu may only be revealed by doctor strange himself how hela could be loki's mother the timeline of the events in the history of the mcu doesn't necessarily dispute that hela could be loki's mother kate blanchett has said that hela was imprisoned for 5000 years but he hasn't been confirmed as canon in thor ragnarok the exact time was left ambiguous though it is known that she was locked away for at least 1000 years thor is 1500 years old so that would put loki somewhere around that age prior to hela's banishment she may have met lofe had a child with him and left him to be raised by the frost giants perhaps because she didn't want her son to be raised by odin and his people this would of course mean that odin raised his grandson as his own child without even realizing it and that loki is in fact thor biological half nephew so far marvel hasn't made a mystery of the identity of thor's mother but is this something that could be explored in the future presumably in the upcoming disney plus series loki Most Marvel projects are usually packed with at least one unexpected twist and revealing that Hela is Loki's mother would undoubtedly count as a massive surprise. Since the series will be the first MCU installment to be centered on the god of mischief, this would be the perfect place for Marvel to delve into Loki's past. Loki could meet a character capable of shedding some light on the circumstances of Loki's birth. Plus, it has been stated that in the show, Loki will struggle with his identity. Also, it's important to keep in mind that the version of Loki in the series never fought Hela in Thor Ragnarok, so he may not be aware of how evil she was. Hearing about how his mother was treated by Odin could reinforce his opinions of his father and the Asgardians. So please subscribe my channel and share this video to your friends. Also, if you are interested in the gaming channel, our second gaming channel link in the description given below. Please check out this channel and subscribe.